Hello, I'm Brian Charlson. I'm director of the Computer Training Services Program at the Carroll Center for the Blind in Newton, Massachusetts. During the next few sessions, we're going to teach you all about Apple iOS devices, from the iPad to the iPod Touch to the iPhone. I hope you enjoy these sessions. Hi, today we're going to do a demonstration of the Apple TV from Apple Corporation. I'm going to need two remotes, this remote for my flat screen TV, and the second remote, which is to the Apple TV receiving unit. As you can see, the Apple TV remote only has a couple of buttons, a back, a mute, a select, and a circular button that is used for up, down, left, and right navigation within menus. I've already turned on my flat screen TV, and down on the table I have the Apple TV receiver itself. It has the potential of three cables coming out of the back of it, one for power, one an HDMI cable leading to the TV, and potentially an Ethernet cable to connect you to the modem. Though the device today is going to be working wirelessly on our local area network. Apple TV comes with it the capability of turning on a speech navigation scheme called VoiceOver. It's already up and running here. The first time you run it, it may take up to five minutes for it to fully load. Once it's loaded, I'm going to use the up arrow key. 21 Jump Street, 1 of 25. And I'm on the first of 25 movies listed across the top of the screen. And you can hear voiceover indicate the name of the movie and the number of the movie out of a list of 25. I'm pressing right arrow. Wrath of the Titans, 2 of 25 where I hear Wrath of the Titans, 2 of 25. These are all pay-per-view movies, and the actual list of movies changes from time to time. I'm pressing left arrow. 21 Jump Street, 1 of 25. And it's the first item if I try to hit left again. 21 Jump Street, 1 of 25. I hear a small noise, followed by a repeat of the item I'm on. I'm going to drop down one row with down arrow. Movies, button, 1 of 5. And now I have five different choices to deal with here. One is movies, where you can watch older movies free of charge, or an extended list of pay-for-view movies such as on the top row. I'm hitting right arrow. TV shows, button, two TV and five. TV shows, again, there are those that you can watch for free and those that you need to pay a fee to enjoy. Right arrow. Music, button, three of five. iTunes match. To access your music library in iCloud, subscribe to iTunes Nash using iTunes on your computer. You can use music to access all of the music on the computers that are in your local area network at home. Or, and, you can also use iMatch, keeping track of your music collection on the iCloud. This is a subscription service, and you can subscribe for it through this choice. Computers. Button. Four and five. Computers allows Home you to sharing. access. Home sharing lets you stream your movies, TV shows, music, and more from iTunes libraries in your home. I better shut up and let it speak. Again, it will allow you to access media on all of the computers in your home that you've turned on for home sharing, a feature which you may not have turned on automatically to use computers up to this point. I press right arrow again. Settings. Button. Five and five. And it is within settings that we can actually go in and turn on the voiceover feature. I'm going to press select. In settings. General. Button. One of seven. I have seven choices. I'm pressing down arrow. I don't go anywhere. So I press right arrow. General. Button. One of seven. And again. General. Button. One of seven. Let's try again. Down. Screensaver. Button. I two of seven. I can the screensaver. iTunes store. Button, three go, of seven. Go to set up my account with the iTunes store. Audio and video. Button, four of seven. Control the audio and video. Airplay. Button, five of seven. Choose to have the audio from this device go to an Airplay speaker system. Computers. Button, six of seven. And again, configure how it will interact with other computers. Sleep now. Button, seven of seven. And cause it to sleep right now. I'm going to go back up to general. Computers. Airplay. Audio and video, iTunes Store, Screensaver, General, Button, and 1 of 7. select General. In General, About, Button, 1 of 15. 
Name. Apple TV. Button. 2 of 15. I'm hitting down arrow. Network. Button. 3 of 15. Parental controls. Button. 4 of 15. So you can see there's a number of different Remotes. controls. Button. 5 of 15. This remote is important because this same remote can act as the remote control for a Mac computer or other iOS, iOS devices within its range. So you'll want to configure this so that this will only react to this one remote. Update software. Button. 6 of 15. Gives you the op option to update the software for the Apple TV. Time zone. New York. Button. 7 of 15. To indicate what time zone you're in. Sleep after. 1 hour. Button. 8 Set of 15. How quickly it will go to sleep. Send data to Apple. No. Button. 9 of 15. Send information from the device to Apple Corp. Language. Button. 10 of 15. Choose your language. Accessibility. Button. And 11 here's, of 15. There's a choice called accessibility, and that's where we're going. We'll go down just to see the other choices. Button. Troubleshooting. Button. 12 of 15. Legal. Button. 13 of 15. Legal. Reset. Button. 14 Reset of 15. Reset to factory defaults. Restart. Button. Or 15 of 15. Or restart the system altogether. I'm going to hit up arrow again. Reset. To Button. 14 of 15. Accessibility. Legal. Button. 14 of 15. Troubleshooting. Button. Accessibility. And Button. 11 of 15. Accessibility. Inaccessibility. Voice over. On. Button. And one currently, voice over is on. That's one choice. Speech rate. Normal. Button. And two I can also affect the speech rate. I'm going to slow it down speech rate. by pressing Fast. select. Button. Two I'm two. going to press down. Speech rate. Fast. Button. 202. Speech rate. Fast. Button. 202. And even though it says 2 of 2, in fact, if I go up, it goes slower. Uh, button. Oops. One two. Speech rate. Fast. Speech rate. Fast. Button. Speech rate. Fast. It's getting button. faster two and two. faster. Left. Speech rate. Fast. Button. Two or two. Speech rate. Fast. Button. Two or two. Speech rate. Fast. Button. Two or two. Up. Voice over. Uh, button. Up. One or two. Voice over. Uh, button. One or two. Now it's not adjusting properly here. Voice over. Uh, button. One. Speech rate. Fast. Button. Two two. Speech rate. Very fast. Button. Two two. Speech rate. Slow. Uh, you keep button. pressing two two. the select button until it rotates around to the speed you're looking for. Speech rate. Normal. Button. Two two. So I've moved it to normal. Speech rate. Fast. fast. Button. Two. Speech rate. Very fast. Very button. fast. Two two. Speech rate. Slow. Or slow. Button. And two for two. the rest of this demonstration, we'll use slow. I'm going to press back. In general. Accessibility. Button. And back 11 again. Of in settings. General. And button. back again. 1 of 7 in main menu. Settings. Button. 5 of 5. So I'm back on the fifth choice on the second row. Settings. I'm going to hit left arrow till I get to music. Or rather movies. Computers. Music. But TV show. Movies. Button. And then One I'm of going five. to press down arrow. Netflix. Button. Netflix One of is a fee-for-service that allows you to watch movies and television shows and other audio and video content. Currently, the price runs a little under $9 a month. MLB TV. Button. 2 of 13. MLB TV allows you to watch Major League Baseball video. NBA. Button. 3 of 13. NBA for National Basketball Association. NHL. Button. 4 of 13. NHL for National Hockey League. Trailers. Button. 5 of 13. Trailers to see movie trailers. Hitting right arrow. Trailers. Button. 5 of 13. Even though voiceover says 5 of 13, it's referring to both rows or even more than two rows on this choice. I want to make it clear that NHL. NHL. Button. 4 of 13. NBA. NBA. Button. MLB. MLB. TV. Netflix. And Netflix. Button. One of thirteen are all fee-for-service add-on costs to this product. WSJ Live button six of thirteen. As is WSJ or Wall Street Journal Live. YouTube button YouTube seven of thirteen. Free. Vimeo button Vimeo eight of thirteen. Free. Podcasts button Podcasts nine of thirteen. Are free. Radio button internet ten of radio 13. is free. Radio can't go button. any farther. Point ten of pod Vimeo YouTube. WSJ Live, WSJ Live. Till I button. reach the beginning Six of this row and press down. Photo stream, button. 11 of 13. Photo stream. Mobile me, button. Mobile 12 me. of 13. Flickr, button. 13 of 13. And those are our choices. 
For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to hit left to get to the left screen. margin. Button. 11 of 13. And I can't back up any further to the left. I'm going Button. to hit up arrow. 11 of 13. WSJ Live. Button. Up arrow. 6 and of 13. Arrow again. Netflix. To Netflix. Button. I'm 1 of 13. Select Netflix. TV shows. Button. 4 of 8. I have four or eight choices here. TV shows is one. I'm pressing up arrow. Genres. Button. And again. Recently watched. And again. Button. 2 of 8. Suggestions for you. Button. One of eight. Suggestions for you allows this, that is Netflix, to determine what you might be interested in based on what you've already viewed. Pressing down arrow. Recently watched. Button. Two of eight. Recently watched will tell you what you most recently watched. And if you're working your way through a series of movies or TV shows, this can be quite useful. Down arrow. Genres. Button. Three of eight. Genres allows you to pick your videos based on categories. Down arrow. TV shows. Button. Again, here eight. we're moving from movies to TV shows. Down arrow. New releases. Button. Five of eight. New releases, again, are pay for view beyond the subscription fee. Down arrow. Just for kids. Button. Six of eight. Just for kids. Parents will be glad to hear this as a choice. Search. Button. Seven of eight. And then we eight. have a search choice. And lastly. Sign up. Sign CC up. at Carol. Dot org. Button. And this is our particular account. I'm going to go up to genre. Search. Just for kid. New releases. TV shows. Genres. Button. And press Free select. Eight. Accessing Netflix. One of one. In genres. Action and adventure. Button. One of ten. Ten different categories. We're going to choose, uh, let's see, adventures here. Why not? Accessing Netflix. One of one, in action and adventure. Action comedies, The Spy Next Door, one of 51. And we have 51 different choices here. Again, these are views that you get as part of your subscription fee. Let's press right arrow. Kick ass, two of 51. Ghostbusters, three of 51. And we'll select Ghostbusters. In Ghostbusters, PG, in this classic comedy. A team of parapsychologists goes into business as ghostbusters who exterminate ghouls, pop goblins and supernatural pests. Details. Actors. Directors. Categories. Release 1984. Bill Murray. Ivan Reitman. Action and Adventure. 105 Minutes. Dan Aykroyd. Comedies. Harold Ramis. Sci-Fi and Fantasy. Rick Moranis. Action Comedies. Sigourney Weaver. Action C. Fee and Fantasy. Play Ghostbusters. Button. One of four. And we have four buttons associated with this. But you did hear quite a bit of information about the actors and directors and the length of the film and what kind of categories it falls into. These are not read necessarily in proper order. You tend to hear the categories first and then the information within that core category second. If I want to play, I'll just click the Play Now button. Loading. It buffers it into the memory of the Apple TV and then it begins to play it on the screen. And here's the movie. Again, you control the volume with the remote control of the flat screen TV, not with the remote control of the Apple TV. Training the volume up. And I can pause it with the Apple TV remote. Now I'm going to back up. It goes clusters. PG. And back again. In this clap, in action and adventure. And back again. Action comedy in genres. Action and adventure. Button. The one last thing I want to show you. Genres. But is the choice genres. For search. TV show. New releases. Just for kids. Search. Button. When I seven of eight. Search. I have a keyboard that is revealed on screen that I navigate through using the arrow keys. Sign up. Nope, I didn't get Search. Search. Button. There we 
in search. Search for, search keyboard, A, button. And I'm currently on A. Alpha. So if I wish to press play put pause in button to change keyboards. Ghost, I'm going to hit right arrow. B, C, button, D, E, B, F, B. Oh, F, G is not on this row. I'm going to down arrow. L, button, and back up. K, J, I, H, G, button. Select G. G, 25 items found. And it gives me a list of movies began with the letter G that are available on the system. I'm going to hit up arrow. A, button. Uh, Alpha, right, down arrow, G, and down button, arrow. M, button. M, O, button. And there's O. Select. Go, 25 items found. You continue in this process to get spelled out what you're looking for. And you can choose alternative keyboards that include punctuation marks when necessary. And when you are done, you move to select and press the select button one more time, and it will select that item to play. I'm going to hit back. Search button. And back seven again. In main menu. Netflix button. One of 13. And that completes this demonstration of the Apple TV. If I were to turn off the monitor now, which I'll do in just a moment, after a short time, the Apple TV itself will turn off. You do not turn off the Apple TV with the Apple remote. You only turn it on by pressing the select button while pointing at the Apple TV itself.